So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to fix this problem here uh, with the GTIN. So incorrect value identifier exists and limited performance due to missing value GTIN. Uh, these are the same exact problems and we are going to fix both of them. So usually uh, what you want to do is you want to upload it actually as a MPN because MPNs traditionally do better online uh, because if a GTIN exists, that means that there's multiple advertisers online. Uh, even if there is a GTIN that exists, if you can get away with using an MPN over a GTIN, your Google Ads results will be a lot better, um, which I already did here. Um, but what ended up happening was that 331 are still disapproved. And that is because they recognize that for at least 218 of them, that it needs a GTIN. So first try the MPN. If not, then use a GTIN. Uh, the way that we're going to get the GTIN is that you're going to reach out to the distributor of the products, and they are going to send you a file like this. And, um, you know, they, they can phrase it any really type of way they want. Uh, GTIN um, is a really fancy word also for the number under the barcode. And, uh, you know, so when you scan a barcode, say at Walmart, and there's a number under there, uh, UPC or GTIN, same exact thing. And then that's how Google knows how to advertise it. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your feed here. Um, and in case you don't know how to get to your feed, you're going to click on feeds. And once it loads in, then you're going to click open. And I already have mine open, so I'm not going to click it again. Uh, and then it's going to open up a, a sheet for you like this. Uh, then you kind of just work your way through the list on the ones that are not working. Uh, you can find it via the title or however you organized it. Uh, so say for this one, uh, we're going to be doing a clear fire glass. I'm going to copy that. We're just going to paste it into there. There we go. Clear fire glass. Um, and it says a half. Uh, that's important because there's multiple different sizes here. There's a fourth and a half, and I almost grabbed the wrong one. Why is that important? Because this is $4 more, and they could have thrown everything off. So make sure that your sizes are working. Uh, they're going to scroll over to the right here. I always like to click on it, too, so then I can see the row. It's just a little bit better for organization. Paste it in there. Delete that. And then you are done. That is how you add a GTIN. Um, hope this helps. Have a great day. Bye.